Hi friends, welcome to Mega Technical Hub. In the last session, we discussed about the important parameter that is frequency in the vibration topic. We all know by using vibration, we can identify the source of vibration, means whether the vibration is from any bearing or any rotor or any coupling or any from any structure. So, mainly frequency tells us about the cause of the vibration. Means there may be unbalance, misalignment, looseness, bend shaft or any bearing problem. So, frequency plays a major role in vibration. Today, I will speak about amplitude in detail. What is a vibration amplitude? It is a magnitude of vibration. It tells us about the severity of vibration. It is a magnitude of vibration. Severity means if you consider two machines A and B, A it runs at around 4 mm per second vibration and B runs about 11 mm per second vibration. Then B is more severe than A. So we cannot run the machine B unless, unless it is rectified. So amplitude also plays a major role in vibration. This vibration can be expressed in terms of displacement, in terms of velocity, in terms of acceleration. For the low speed machines, we generally prefer displacement. That micron is used as a unit for measurement. In case of velocity, you use for medium RPM machines. The unit is mm per second. And acceleration is used mainly for the high RPM machines. The unit is g or meter per second square. 9.81 meter per second square is equal to 1 g. To understand the amplitude also, we need to go through the simple harmonic motion by a mass and spring system. Let us consider m is the mass and spring having stiffness k. Let the pencil be attached to the mass. In this pencil it traces a sine wave on the piece of paper when the mass bounces to and fro. When you apply a force here, then mass bounces back and forth or it makes to and fro motion. For example, the mass at rest is at A position. When you apply a force here, then it travels from A to B, that is uppermost limit of travel of this mass. Again, it travels through the neutral position and it reaches to the bottommost travel that is C. Again it comes back to the its neutral position D. So from A to B, B to C, C to D it completes one cycle. Always in sine wave, it is a sine wave, in vertical direction there is we generally write as a amplitude. It is sine wave, in vertical axis there is a amplitude and horizontal axis there is a time. So from B to C, it is a total distance travelled by the mass. From here to here, this is the total distance of this mass. This we call it as a amplitude that is peak to peak, peak to peak. We call it as a peak to peak. Suppose this mass, it travels from the this neutral position to either in the upward direction that is further distance or in the lower direction so it is a further distance that we call it as a peak. Then we call it as a zero to peak. Okay. So one more term 
that we need to identify that is RMS root mean square that I will explain in the next slide. This is a sine wave drawn by this uh, simple harmonic motion of the spring mass system. Here from this peak to this peak here there is a total distance travelled by the mass that is peak to peak and here from the neutral axis here either it is a upward direction or further distance from the in the lower direction that is called as peak value again rms is root mean square value that is it is the average amount of energy contained in the waveform that is amount of energy in the vibration so generally for the vibration velocity we prefer rms velocity always represent in rms because when the rms increases means overall energy of the vibration increases in any equipment and from peak to peak that is peak to peak we generally use it in displacement okay in general bearing you can use it as a displacement for the micron and for the zero to peak in case of acceleration what happens when the bearing there is a severe impact on the bearing or damage in the bearing we need to understand what is the maximum extent of that damage so then we use it at zero to peak is sufficient for the acceleration and for the displacement generally we use peak to peak in micron and for the velocity we generally refer as used in rms that is root mean square value and both the this peak to peak and vrms and there is one more term that is v average if you draw a line from here then it is called as average generally it doesn't have much preference over the rms value so you give, give more preference over for rms value both this v peak peak to peak and rms they have interrelated means for the sine wave like this sine wave here this v peak to peak is 2 into v peak and again v rms always it is equal to 0.707 into v peak v rms is equal to 0 0.707 into peak okay and v average is always 0 0.636 into peak it remains same for the for any sine wave Consider an exam, uh, example of that peak to peak, suppose there is a 20, okay, the measurement is 20, then you can calculate 0 to peak, 0 to peak is equal to peak to peak divided by 2, then you get 20 by 2, it is 10 here, okay, and again, what is the RMS value, it is 0 0.707 into peak that is equal to 0 0.707 into peak is 10 then it gives 7.07 .07 rms value this okay so in this way you can calculate here but in the real case vibration as a practical always the vibration is not a sinusoidal sinusoidal means here what happens whatever with the uppermost limit same will be the lowermost limit means these two will be same in case of pure sine wave okay so in case of real vibration it is a complex wave like this it is a complex wave so the relation why I explained in the earlier slide that is RMS is equal to 0 0.707 into peak 
it doesn't apply here in case of complex waves okay it is only apply for the real sine wave here also v peak to peak is not equal to v 2 into peak so for he consider this example here suppose this is a complex wave some peaks are like minus 2 to plus 2 to minus 2 some are 0.4 to minus 0.7 here plus 0.3 to minus 0.3 here plus 0.4 to minus 0.5 in this case here peak to peak you consider as 0.4 plus 0.5 that is 0.9 similarly if you want to calculate for the 0 to peak that is then you need to consider the highest peak that is 0.7 is the highest peak in that way for the complex waves you need to calculate like this for the rms value it has the different equation that i will explain in the intermediate levels yeah thank you i think you understood that concept of this uh, amplitude in the next session i will go through the phase analysis thank you